Welcome to Bruce Lee's Wing Chun. Bruce Lee's Wing Chun was a little bit different than the traditional Wing Chun that he learned from Yip Man. He modified it a lot. It's a big topic, but I'm going to try to simplify it into some basic differences between Bruce Lee's Wing Chun and regular Wing Chun. So here we go. Here's Bruce Lee's three favorite trapping techniques. Let's show it to you right now. This first one, second one. Okay, second one, and the third one. Alright, or like this. Back fist. Alright, so. Okay, so those are three. Let me show you how to do them in slow motion. Alright, so the first one is starting with a hop with the back fist. Forces him to do this, right? Now, if his back fist pushes me over this way, I feel the energy going this way, then I'm gonna go underneath with the lap and continue my back fist. So double back fist. So Pack the whole back fist, I feel the energy going this way, grab, and then back fist. Really slow down. Front, back fist, you push this this way, this one comes underneath, grab, back fist. That's the first one. Second one, similar, we start with this again. But now his energy is kind of in the middle, but it's not all the way this way, it's a little bit on this way. So I'm going to bring this one up, and then trap it down this way, and then Either his arm's back there, I don't have to really worry about it, but if his arm is here, then great. I get to pin it down to his hip, and now I'm open for a trap. So, slow motion again. Let's go one, two, this one comes up here, three, and then you want to go three to pin it in like this. Drop it. See him? Drop, sink it down. Okay? And then boom. Like that. That's the second one. Third one is I start with my right feet, right? So. I go for a punch, and he meets it, I feel that energy, I'm going to roll my elbow over, and boom, okay, so boom, boom, that's the back fist, boom, so roll over, boom, now if he blocks it, boom, I pull this one down, and punch, if he misses that one, then I trap this one and continue on this way, so those are the three Bruce Lee's favorite trapping techniques, so cool. All right, so if you studied your Bruce Lee history, you know that Bruce Lee only learned Silin Tao and Tsang Kiyo. He never got the beauty. Interesting, right? So he only learned half or maybe even less than half than the Wing Chun forms. Now, when he did Chi Sao, you notice that a lot of uh, the traditional Chi Sao, they stand this stance, okay? It's a, it's a square stance and they're a little bit backwards and their head is upright like this. So they do Chi Sao like this. Okay, which is okay, a lot of people do like that. If you can make that work for you, then they're great. Now, Bruce Lee, when he went to the States, he started to meet people that are a lot bigger than him, right? Like, I'm Asian, and I'm here in North America. Basically, all the other people are bigger than me, other than the other Asians here. But pretty much, if, if all the other non-Asians are bigger than me. So that's what Bruce Lee encountered when he went to the States. Everybody's bitter, bigger. So what happened was, they were stronger and heavier, and this didn't have any structure anymore because it was just too hard to keep put enough energy. So he modified it into a fencing or kickboxing stance with his right lead in front. And he opened up his back. Instead of making it like this, he opened up his back. So it'll be like pushing a car. If you push a wall, if you push a car, it's gonna be like this. If you don't push a car like this, you won't push the car anywhere. So his philosophy was he needed more pressure to go against a bigger opponent. So he used it, he used the round back to connect to the arm and open it up a little bit. So instead of being a little bit tight elbow, he opened up his elbow a little bit. That's how he did it. A lot of people say, oh, that's not Wing Chun, and that's not proper, but that's how he did it. I'm just showing you what he did. Okay, so, and, and the reason, like I said, is to put more pressure into the, into the person, like this. Because I can push him a lot more, I put a lot more pressure. And then that's his key, is to use the pressure in his chicken Do, right? Chicken Do is way of the intercepting fist, which means he has to intercept and he has to make preemptive movements to force the other person to do something. So this is, he, he modified his Chi cell to have that, to put this more pressure. A lot of people say, oh, that's too much pressure. Well, it's not stupid pressure, it's smart pressure because he's using all this stuff to do some really cool stuff, and there's some of the fastest uh, chi that I've ever seen. 
Thanks for watching Bruce Lee's Wing Chun Trapping Techniques. I showed you three today. There's a lot more that we can show you on how Bruce Lee fought with his style of Wing Chun. So if you like this video, make sure you check out some of my other videos on this channel and subscribe to this channel to get cool, awesome lessons on martial arts.